I'll we'll move on to question 7 of the January 2020 Reset paper. And it says a sequence of figures is made up of stars using dots and sticks of different lengths. The first three figures in the sequence are shown below. And you have figure 1, figure 2, and figure 3. It says study the pattern of numbers in each row of the table below. Each row relates to a figure in the sequence of figures started above. Some rows have not been included in the table. So there are some rows that were excluded. It says complete the rows 1, 2, and 3. Now let us look at what is really happening inside of the table. Now we have figure 1. The number of sticks is 12 and the number of dots is 13. We have figure 2. The number of sticks is 24 and the number of dots is 25. Figure 3. The number of sticks is 36 and the number of dots is 37. So one of the things that you can start doing is looking for patterns in the center. Now there are several patterns that can be observed from this sequence here. Let us start with the fact that the number of sticks is actually a multiple of 12. We have 12, 24, 36, 48. We can also speak to the fact that the number of dots is one more than the number of sticks as you can see. You have 13 when the number of sticks was 12. Over here, n represents a figure. So there's, there are two things that I can do right away. I could start by writing down the formula because the number of 6 is just 12 times whatever the figure is. So in figure 1, 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times 4 is 48. So in general, if in the figure we have n, what we're going to have as a number of sticks is just 12n. What about the number of dots? The number of dots is one more than the number of sticks. The number of sticks is 12n. So the number of dots must be 12n plus 1. Because all we're doing is adding 1 to the number of sticks that we have here. Now let us go up to 5. In figure 5, how many sticks would you have? All I would need to do is to multiply 5 by 12, which would give me 60. Now since I have the number of sticks, I would not need to work out the number of dots. All I need to do is add 1 because I know that the number of dots is 1 more. So this becomes 61 automatically. Alright, let us look, move down to part 2. They gave you the number of sticks, which is 156. And you're supposed to find out the figure. Now let us talk about some things that we can fill in right away. We can fill in the number of dots. The number of dots would be 156 plus 1, which is 1. 57. Now, how do I find the, the figure? All I need to ask myself is what do I multiply 12 by to get 156? So, 12 times 13, so this has to be 13. 12 times 13 gives me 156. And I would have completed this table, as you see here. Now, looking at 7b, the sum of the number of dots in two consecutive figures are recorded. This information for the first three pairs of consecutive figures are shown in the table below. So you have figure 1 and figure 2, which is 13 plus 25. You have figure 2 and figure 3, which is 25 plus 37, which is equal to 62. And then we have figure 3 and figure 4, which is 37 plus 49. Now let us talk about the formula for the number of dots. We all agree that the number of dots is equal to 12n plus 1. So guess what now? Figure 7 and figure 8. Now all we have to say is when n is equal to 7, the number of dots would be 12 times 7 plus 1. And 12 times 7 is 84 plus 1 which would be equal to 85. Then we want 8 figure as well. So when n is equal to 8, the number of dots would be equal to 12 times 8 plus 1. 12 8 is 96 plus 1. That would be equal to 97. So all I would need to do for that pair for 7 and 8 is to add the total number of dots. So I'm going to have 85 plus 97, which is going to be equal to 182. Good. Now part 2 is asking me for the figure n and figure n plus 1. Now the general formula for the number of dots, d 
as we just use it is 12 n plus 1 good so what about figure n for figure n i would simply put n in the place of n which is actually going to give me 12 n plus 1 so that is for figure n but what about figure n plus 1 now i'm going to add this to when i put n plus 1 in the place of n so it's going to be 12 and because it's more than one term so we're going to need a bracket we have n plus 1 in the place of n and we'll put what the plus 1 there so breaking this down i'm going to have 12 n plus 1 if i expand this bracket i have 12 n plus 12 plus 1 all right looking for the like terms you have 12 n plus 12 n that's 24 n and we have 1 plus 12 that's 13 plus 1 14 so it's 24 n plus 14 and that would be for figure n and figure n plus 1.